Dear learners, welcome to the new session on web technology. Today we will discuss JavaScript and event handling. I am Anurag Bhatt, Assistant Director, Computer IT, Uttarakhand Open University, Haldwani. Our learning objectives of today is history of JavaScript, JavaScript and event handling, feature of JavaScript, applications of JavaScript, an example of JavaScript, way of inserting JavaScript, JavaScript event handling, click event example. So these are the learning objectives of today's session. Now we discuss about history of JavaScript. In 1993, Mosaic was born, the first popular web browser. Netscape was founded in 1994 by Mark Anderson. He realized the web needed to become more dynamic. HTML was therefore thought to provide a glue language to simplify a web design for designers and part-time programmers. As a result, in 1995, the company hired Brandon Each, who in intended to implement the scheme programming language and incorporate it into the browser. But before Brandon got out of the business, the company merged with Sun Microsystems to add Java to its navigator, allowing it to compete with Microsoft across web technologies and platforms. Now there were his two languages, Java and the scripting language. Netscape also decided to give the scripting language a Java-like name that led to JavaScript. Finally, in May 1995, Mark Anderson created his first JavaScript code called Mocha and some uh, people called it Mocha. Mocha was the first JavaScript code created by Mark Anderson. The marketing team has since replaced the name with LiveScript. However, due to trademark and other reasons the language was eventually renamed again to JavaScript by him in December 1995. JavaScript came from there. So this is the pie chart of various jQuery and other languages uh, which is having its importance in the history of JavaScript. Now JavaScript and event handling. JavaScript JS is a lightweight object-oriented programming language used by multiple websites to script web pages. It is an interpreted, full-fledged programming language that, when applied to HTML documents, enables dynamic interactivity in websites. It was introduced in 1995 to add programs to her web pages in the Netscape Navigator browser. So, we have discussed that JavaScript is a lightweighted, object-oriented programming language used by multiple websites to script the web pages. Here are some event and event handlers. So, whenever user uses uh, any, uh, any URL or any command to the browser, then this browser updates to the browser displays and it sends the request to event handlers. Event handlers handle the queries raised by the user from uh, passed from the browsers and then mouse and keyboard actions are then replied back to the browser and then browser will send the required code output as the uh, browser's display to the user. Mouse and keyboard actions are performed by the uh, use of browsers and subsequently handled by event handlers. It has been uh, adopted by all other graphical web browsers using JavaScript. A user can create a modern web application and interact directly without reloading the page each time. Traditional websites use JS to provide various forms of interactivity and simplicity. This diagram is based on the event handling through JavaScript, 
So whenever we have a button, then this button is uh, providing input to diff, then this body, then HTML, and then document. So now document is in the phase one event capturing. So the arrow downwards is representing event capturing at phase one. And then the event target from event target to document, it is having event uh, bubbling in the phase two. So here in phase one, we are having event capturing and in event phase two, we are having event bubbling. However, JavaScript has no connection with the Java programming language. The name was proposed and offered at a time when Java was growing in popularity in the market. In addition to web browsers, databases such as CouchDB and MongoDB use JavaScript as their scripting and querying language. So this is the point that JavaScript has no connection with the Java programming language. The name is uh, proposed and offered at the time when Java was growing popularity in the market. So it has nothing to do with the name Java. Here we are having a backend server. Suppose we are having a node.js file then it is uh, its application is app and db.js that is database js file it is connected to mongodb node.js driver and this driver keeps on sending requests to mongodb database and the dual uh, arrow the both side arrow represents that data is two way communicated it is from the mongodb node.js driver to mongodb database and uh, vice versa mongodb uh, to the driver and subsequently it is provided to the db.djs app and this is the uh, relationship between back end server and the mongodb now let's discuss some features of javascript all popular web browsers support javascript to provide an integrated execution environment JavaScript is a structured programming language because it follows the syntax and structure of the C programming language. JavaScript is a weakly typed language where certain types depending on the operation are implicitly cast. So it is not a, a strongly typed language. We have to certainly provide some implicit casting depending on the operation. We are having the information that popular web browsers support JavaScript to provide an integrated execution environment. In addition to it, JavaScript is a structured programming language because it follows the syntax and structure of the C programming language. So uh, it is having property shorthand, default parameters, arrow functions and other features which makes it the structure of a C programming language. It resembles to that. JavaScript is an object oriented programming language using prototypes instead of classes for inheritance. It is a light weighted and interpreted language. It is not compiled, it is interpreted. and uh, that's why it is a very light weighted uh, language. This language is case sensitive. So we have to keep it in our mind that we use always the prescribed cases as it is very case sensitive. JavaScript is supported by several operating systems including Windows, Mac OS and others. Users have good control over their web browsers. Applications of JavaScript includes that client site validations it provides, dynamic drop down menus, date and time displays. So JavaScript is used to create interactive websites. It is primarily used for client site validation, dynamic drop down menus, date and time display, pop up windows and dialog boxes, warning dialog boxes confirmation dialog boxes and prompts dialog boxes. It is provided by the JavaScript and it displays such as clocks.
So here we are having uh, the applications of JavaScript. Now let us consider one example of JavaScript. First of all, a script tag is there. Then we write a command document.write for the printing of a, uh, of a uh, customized message. So document.write, we have provided hello JavaScript in double quotes. Then we provide semicolon and then script tag is closed. We have certain ways of inserting JavaScript. It can be inserted between the body tag of the HTML. It can be inserted between the head tag of HTML. And the third uh, and the last uh, way is in .js file that is external JavaScript. So we can have three ways of inserting JavaScript between the body tag of HTML, between the head tag of HTML and in the .js file that is external JavaScript. Here are four ways which is elaborated in the diagram. So uh, event handler uh, we can use and then to HTML page via JavaScript pseudo URL and so on. So these, uh, this diagram represents four standard ways to add JavaScript. Here we are having uh, an example in which a user clicks any object such as button, then button object is the uh, button uh, widget, then it uh, raises click event on click event listener uh, gets the command and then it provides handle click events handle, handles the click events and go to the javascript and it performs the requested action so here in the code we are having button value equals to click me uh, so click me is the uh, is the uh, message on the button that uh, shows that click me or you want to click and then on click command and then after it that is alert and uh, and it is having the value thank you so the targeted uh, action is performed and the functioning is provided by the diagram now in addition to javascript event handling let us have a look on a change in the state of an object is called an event HTML has various events that represent when an activity has been performed by the user or browser. For example, when a user clicks over the browser, add JS code, which will execute the task to be performed on the event. Event handling in JavaScript is a software routine that processes actions that happen when a user interacts with a page such as mouse movements and keystrokes. Event handlers in JavaScript are when an event is received by an event handler from an event producer and the processes that follow. Events are handled similarly in a browser. When a browser notices a change, it notifies an event handler, a function that is listening to a specific event. The actions are then carried out as defined by these functions. So what are the event handlers in JavaScript? When an event, consider pressing a keyboard key or clicking an event. A button is clicked or any key is uh, uh, pressed in a keyboard that occurs on a DOM, document object model, or an HTML element, we can call the specific functions based on these events. Now, how does the HTML element know when to call the mentioned JavaScript code or JavaScript function? This is taken care of by the event handlers. The properties of DOM or HTML elements are called event handlers. To control how an element should respond to a given event, the concept and operation of event handlers are summarized in the next figure. This is event and event handlers. So uh, we have users, then it uh, is having, uh, it is having uh, instruction to the browsers to through browser displays. And then this browser display 
you know, this browser updates on browser displays and this provide the input to the event handlers. Then through mouse and keyboard actions, event handler reply to the browser and browser, browser in turn gives the targeted actions output to the user. So this is the basic functionality of events and event handlers. If your JavaScript code is wrapped in HTML, JS will respond to these events and allow it to run. This process of reacting to events is called event handling. So JavaScript JS handles HTML events via event handlers browser. So this is uh, we have an, some app then it builds and modifies uh, uh, interact with a react virtual dom it uh, in turn provides or builds and modifies and provides input to dom then dom delivers the events to again react virtual dom and then Re react virtual dom provides and delivers events output to the app again so this diagram is showing the builds and modifies and delivery of the events and delivery of the events between app, React, Virtual DOM and DOM. So all these are the events uh, which is very beneficial for you for knowing how various events uh, occur and what are their functionalities. So, so you can have a look with this table. Now click event example. We are having HTML tag then head in which JavaScript events is written and then head tag is closed. Then we have body and in this uh, we have script language equals to in double quotes we provide JavaScript and then type equals to text uh, oblique JavaScript. The angular bracket is uh, closing bracket is there. Now we are having function click event. So we provide angular bracket and exclamatory mark and two hyphens and then function click event. This will uh, um, call uh, the, uh, the functionality of document.write and welcome to this. This will be provided by the function click event. Then script is closed again, then form, form uh, tag is there, then input type equals to button and on click equals to click event. Here click event in the double quotes, value equals to who is this. So this is the code uh, for the click event. Then form tag is closed, body tag is closed and HTML tag is closed. So here we are having the elaborated example which is providing the required output. So here we have head is JavaScript events, then head is closed, then body, the language equals to JavaScript, type is JavaScript or text, then click event, so document.write this is my work and uh, curly braces are closed for the function click event, then script is closed this is the form and input type equals to button and on click equals to click event and its value is provided as who is this then form tag is closed body tag is closed and html tag is closed so here the output of this particular program is that javascript events so this java javascript events is the head and it is provided as who is this as the button so uh, so now whenever we are clicking this who is this the button is disappeared and this is my work this is the final output which is provided by the function click event in the document.write which provides the output as this is my work so again let us revisit this example the output is javascript events in the heading and who is this is the button appears on the screen and when we uh, we click and provides the on click event then who is this button disappears and it provides the this is my work as the output. Points to remember in particular session are no matter where you host your JavaScript, it will always run in the client environment, saving a lot of bandwidth and speeding up the execution process. In JavaScript, XML HTTP request is an important object developed by Microsoft. The XML HTTP request object makes calls as asynchronous HTTP request to the server transferring data to both sides without reloading the page. JavaScript's greatest advantage is that it supports all modern browsers and returns equivalent results. It is possible. Global companies support community development by initiating important projects. Examples include Google built Angular framework and Facebook built React.js framework. So these are the examples in which global companies support community development by initiating important projects. 
JavaScript is used everywhere on the web. Now we are having some learning outcomes of this particular session. We have a deep understanding about history of JavaScript. Learners understood the concepts of JavaScript and event handling. Features of JavaScript are, are discussed. Then application of JavaScript. Learners have a basic uh, command over the JavaScript example and ways of inserting the JavaScript. JavaScript event handling user ha may have a good understanding about this particular topic and click event example is elaborated. I hope that this session is very beneficial for you. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.